So, you just got a new set of coilovers and they didn't come assembled from the factory. And you've never put together a set of coilovers before. Luckily for you, in today's video, we're going to go over every step in how to assemble your new coilovers. But first, let's talk about a new and easy way to buy wheels. Right now, we offer one-click wheel and tire packages at SD Wheel. Just enter your year, make, and model, and you can buy wheel and tire packages in as little as one click. We also offer package savings and guaranteed delivery dates on select one-click packages. Spanner wrenches and any Allen wrenches you need should be included in the box with your new coilovers. The only additional tools you'll need is a tape measure and a socket set. An impact gun will make the job easier, but it's not necessary. The first step is to screw the adjuster nut, or nuts, onto the bottom of the shock. Then, you must install the bump stop. This simply slides onto the shaft of the shock. Then, install the dust boot. The bottom of the boot should fit snugly over the bump stop and body of the shock. Now that that's done, you can slide the spring over the shock. It's important to read the instruction manual to ensure that you put the spring on the right side up. Once the spring is in place, set the spring isolator on the top of the coil spring, and then place the radial bearing and spacer on top of the spring isolator. At this point, you can install the top hat. Next, hand tighten the center nut onto the threads at the top of the shaft of the shock. Once it is hand tightened, you can either tighten it down with your socket wrench, or use an impact if you have one. Then, screw the lower mount onto the body of the shock if it isn't already. Finally, install any adjustment knobs that have come with your new coilovers. I recommend setting all adjustment knobs to the middle setting. This is a good starting point for most cars and can be adjusted further once installed if need be. Once assembled, you can set your desired ride height. To adjust this, you'll spin the lower mount onto the body of the shock. The higher up it sits on the body, the lower your car will be. It's up to you to decide how low you want your car. Once you set your ride height, Measure the overall length of your coilover. You're going to want to make sure that both of the fronts are the same length, and same with the rears. Now that your coilovers are assembled, it's time to set preload. Using your spanner wrench, or wrenches if you have two lower locking nuts, loosen the lower locking nut to remove any load on the springs. From there, you will hand tighten your locking nut until the spring is snug and has no play in it. Now your spring is set to zero preload. At this point, Reference your coilover's instruction manual to see how much preload is recommended by the manufacturer, as it will vary depending on what brand of coilovers you have. How you measure preload will depend on whether you have one lower locking nut or two. With two lower locking nuts, you will spin the smaller locking nut up the body of the shock until it's making contact with the larger locking nut. Then, you will use a spanner wrench to tighten the larger locking nut until the desired amount of preload is reached. Measure the distance between the two locking nuts, and that will tell you how many millimeters of preload is on the spring. Once you reach the desired amount of preload, you can bring the smaller locking nut back up to the larger one and tighten it, ensuring that the locking nut will not move. If you only have one locking nut, setting the preload to zero will be the same process, but measuring it will be different. Once at zero preload, you must measure the overall length of your spring. Tighten the locking ring and measure again. Repeat this process until the desired amount of preload is reached. Then, tighten the bolt on the locking ring, locking it in place. And that is how you assemble your new coilovers before installation. Tell us what your favorite brand of coilovers is in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.